Hey, Alison Verhalen here with AV Writing Services, and today I am giving you nine reasons why you should be writing an ebook for your small business and promoting and publishing it just like you would any other book. I know, I know from experience how much work it is to write a book in addition to writing all the blog posts and every all the other content you're creating. Um, but hear me out because there are nine really great reasons, probably more than that, but we're gonna be focusing on nine in this video, nine reasons that you should absolutely write an ebook for your small business. You can also sell it as a print book if you wanna use Amazon's print on demand feature or some other publishing service that can help you with that. That's great, go for it. Um, because a lot of people are still reading print, it's just ebooks are so much A, cheaper, and B, they're a lot easier to publish. So and eco-friendly, so it's a win-win. But a lot of people are, they do still prefer the print, so that is always an option. I know Amazon does make it really easy for you to just have a print-on-demand feature where you, where you let them handle that. You say, yes, if someone orders the print book, you print it, you send it out, Amazon will take care of it for you. Super easy, and it will help you grow your business. So we are going to get into a bunch of reasons why you should do that, how that can help you grow your business. So number one is it attracts prospects, right? So you've got, obviously, we talk about search engines all the time. When we talk about SEO, we usually talk about Google. Yes, there's Google. There's also Yahoo and Bing, and each social media channel is its own search engine because they've got that search bar at the top and people use it every day. Millions of people use it. And the same goes for Amazon. Amazon is a huge search engine. People go on there every day, sometimes multiple times a day to search for what they need. And sometimes they want a book. Sometimes they don't want a quick little blog post about whatever it is they, they were trying to learn about today. They want a whole book about it. They want to really dive deep into the topic. They're going to go straight to Amazon. They're not, they might look um, on Google for that. And if they do look on Google uh, for a certain book, guess what's gonna be the first several sites that pop up? Amazon. It's gonna be Amazon pages for books in that topic that are being sold on Amazon. So I'm not saying you have to use Amazon if you self-publish, I'm just saying it's the easiest way to go because it's huge. So remember that Amazon is itself a search engine and you can take advantage of that by writing a book, publishing it on Amazon, you can even do Amazon ads to help increase the rankings of your book. If you want, you don't have to, if you don't want to invest that much into your ebook, um, but once you publish it, there's a whole lot you can do to then promote it and try to get it up there. Um, so number one is it attracts prospects. Number two is that it can lead prospects through the buyer journey. So let's say they, they've already found your website, uh, either they followed a link or they searched something and your website came up and they're on there and they're kind of on the fence, right? They're not really sure that you have what they're looking for, but they see that you have a book. They see that on your website. It's got the buy button. It's really handy. They can just click that button and buy your book. Now they can read your book and that way they can get insight into your business and the fact that you're an expert, you are an authority in your industry and that book is going to give them that buy-in. That's going to convince them, yes, this person really knows what they're talking about. They gave me a ton of information in this book and I know that they have even more information that they're not sharing with me. So I'm gonna go ahead and work with them. And you can help this along by in your book in, including at the very end, you know, if you have any other questions, if you want to know more about this, if you want to reach out and then provide a link to your website or your contact information or whatever it is you want them to do next. Again, it's always about leading them through the buyer journey. And sometimes you kind of got to hold their hand, right? You got to, you got to lead them to the buyer journey. Tell them what you want them to do next. Cause some people are just going to buy the book and leave it at that. And that's fine. But if they, can, if, you, if they can become customers and, and you have that opportunity to lead them, you wanna make it easy for them. Tell them where to go. And that's another great thing about eBooks, right? Is you can put that link in the eBook and they can click on that link and follow it to your website directly. They don't have to try and remember the name of your company or what exactly that URL was. They just click the link and they're already there and you've got them, right? Because they've read your whole book, they read it all the way through. Clearly they enjoyed it enough to click the link and see what's up. And now you've got them. Now you just have to lead them through those last few stages of becoming customers. 
Um, that leads into number three, which is building relationships. That's what content marketing is all about, right? People want to get buy-in. They don't want you to just sell stuff to them anymore because that's spammy and it's annoying and nobody likes it. Nobody likes that spam. They don't like being sold to, don't do it. Um, but by providing content that has value, and we talk about this with blogging all the time, right? Your blog posts need to provide value. And the same goes for your book, right? It has to be valuable, actionable content that they can use in their day-to-day -day lives. Again, you're not giving away all your secret sauce because you are still going to have a lot of your own expertise that you keep to yourself and they got to pay you for that. Um, in my case, not only is there that, but there's also all the software that I pay for to use in creating content and making sure that it's as strategic as it can be. They're not gonna pay for all that, right? They're just gonna hire me to do it. I'll use the software. I'll tell them what to write about or write it for them. Same goes for you and your book, right? It should be tons, of, it should have a lot of valuable content, which helps build trust with the reader. Again, they, A, they know that you know your stuff because they read a whole book full of your valuable information and b they know that you care enough about them and their problems to give them a whole book right it's all about giving it's all about you know well if you can't afford my services or if you're not sure that you want to work with me at here have a book have all this not free information but it's going to be a lot a much lower price point than to work with you right it's like well here you pay, working with me would cost you um, X amount of dollars for these hours and for the same number of hours for a few dollars you can go through this ebook and get a bunch of valuable information. It's a total win for the consumer and they know that and they're going to appreciate it and when they do need you, when they're ready to buy from you, when they have what they need, when they have the funds, whatever it is that they need to make that next step, they're going to want to work with you because they trust you because you already got that buy-in from them. So it builds those relationships and again, it increases conversions. Someone who comes to your website, looks through a few blog posts, maybe is not sure that they wanna work with you yet, but they see you have a whole book. So again, they, they go, they read the whole book, it was super valuable, it was awesome, they loved it, now they're gonna come back and work with you, right? With just the blog posts, maybe they're still on the fence, but that a whole book can really get people in there and really get that buy-in from them because it is so much more content and it is so much more valuable. You can also lead customers through the buyer journey by instead of publishing on Amazon, you can have just like a short PDF. It's like maybe three, maybe five pages. Um, tell people if you sign up for my newsletter, you're going to get this book for free. All you have to do is give me your email address. Make it very clear that they are giving your email address in exchange for that ebook because you don't want the GDPR people coming after you. So maybe get your lawyers to help you out with that because you don't want to end up in trouble for that. Um, so make it clear, but that's another way to lead them through the buyer journey with an ebook, right? It's just a short thing. It's only a few pages. Wouldn't take you as long to write as it, as if it were a full book. Um, but again, it provides value and then you've got their email address and then you can continue sending them great content. Say, hey, have you read that ebook yet? What did you think of it? Do you have any questions? Anything I can help with? Again, always provide value and come at it with a, a perspective of I want to help you rather than buy from me because again the buy from me is annoying and no one likes that but if you position it in a way that you want to help these people they're really going to appreciate that especially if they need your help so tip number five is that it uh, it allows you to dive deep into a topic right blog posts only get you so far and a lot of us um, try to make as much use of that as we can by writing blog series, by writing the ultimate guide style posts that are two to 3,000 words long, they're practically a book, right? So we can kind of get around that in our blog post, but still, it's, if you want just a ton of information that's all in one place, go to, to an ebook, write an ebook, and then you have all of that great information and it's all in one place and you get it all out because I know when you nerd out about your industry, like I do all the time, you want an opportunity to talk about all of it, all the aspects of it and everything about it that's so awesome and that you really enjoy and you want your customers to enjoy it by working with you. So you have that opportunity in a book to spend all that time diving really deep into a topic 
and just getting into the nitty gritty and talking about every aspect of it that you can. Um, but again, that might only be one topic. Maybe you sell a whole bunch of other products and services that you didn't even talk about in there in the ebook, right? So again, let them know that you have all this great knowledge and expertise, but you have even more if they reach out to you and, and work with you. So that's number five. Um, number six is that it allows you to get the most out of your existing content. If you wanna take a whole bunch of blog posts, like I said, if you have a blog series on a particular topic and it's a product or service that, you, that sells really well for you and people enjoy, put it all together in a book and sell it. I do not recommend not editing or not adding to the blog posts at all. At the very least, you wanna update them before publishing them into a book. Ideally, you want to add more content. You know, you can combine those blog posts and that can get you several pages, which is great. Um, but add more content that they're not already getting for free on your website so that, again, if you're selling this on Amazon, that it's something that provides value for the book. It gives them something in exchange for the money that they gave you rather than if they find out they can get all that information for free on your website, uh, they're going to be pissed and that's going to work against you. So at the very least, add a few chapters that aren't on your website and make it clear that there's even more information in your book than you have on your website. Um, you may or may not want to delete those blog posts at the time that you publish your book. That's up to you. It's an option. Whether or not it's a great option, again, that is entirely up to you. Um, the seventh reason that you should be writing an ebook is that it's evergreen, right? A lot of people will look at an ebook or a blog post, I mean, and wonder, you know, they'll look at the publication date and say, mm, is this still relevant? It was published three years ago, right? Because our world changes so quickly and blog posts tend to be very relevant for a very short period of time. They're kind of written that way, right? So by writing a book, you can put all those things about your industry that never change that always remain the same and put them into a book and put that out into the world. And it's evergreen and it never changes. Now, depending on what you write, what you write about, that may or may not be the case, right? We have books on Amazon about how to sell on Amazon, for example. Well, Amazon is, con is constantly changing its algorithms. So tips that worked a few years ago no longer work. So people, and again, this is the great thing about self-publishing and about eBooks and print on demand is that you can go in and change it and just republish it. And it's super quick and easy, right? So do that. If, if things change, maybe you want to come out with a second edition of your book and let people know that it's been updated. And maybe if someone bought the first edition, maybe they get the second edition for free or at a discount or whatever you can, I will leave that to your discretion. Um, but that is often the best part about uh, having an ebook for your business is that it's evergreen. It never, it never becomes irrelevant, right? It's, it's always relevant. So uh, our eighth reason that you should write an ebook is that it gives you an opportunity to be featured, to get that earned media, right? That's golden, right? We always write our own content and we're struggling to get people's attention. And sometimes we uh, buy media or we buy ads and you know people some people don't pay attention to that other people do and they find it a little sketchy and maybe they're gonna skip the ads and go down to the organic stuff but if you can earn your spot on a podcast or a television show or a radio show that is really great because that nothing gives you more buy-in than that nothing makes you positions you as an authority in your industry like that having that earned media and a book is a great excuse to do that you can reach out to those people and say hey i just came out with this book it's great your readers are going to love it and again you're going to want to do your research before you reach out to these people make make sure that they're readers listeners viewers whatever make sure that for them it's it is it, it's a good match it's something that does resonate with their audience and then explain that to them in your pitch and say hey i think i should be featured on your show here's why and having that book is a great lead into that because then you can talk about your book you can promote your book and get in front of a whole new audience that you might not necessarily have had an opportunity to get in front of before. They can buy your book, they can take, follow the call to action at the end, get to your website, buy from you. It is a huge opportunity. And then you can put that up on your website, right? As featured on whatever show you were featured on. 
and that alone looks really good. People who go to your website, even if they didn't see it, even if they don't watch that show, just seeing that logo at the top and recognizing it will give you a huge amount of buy and they'll go, oh, this person was featured on television or they were on this radio show that's super popular. That's really impressive. And they're gonna, that alone will give them buy-in before they even get to any of your content. So again, when you, when you write that book, use, get the most out of it that you can. Try to publicize it, not only by doing the Amazon ads, if you want, if you don't want to invest any more into the ebook, I totally get it. Um, but getting that earned media is free, right? They're not going to charge you to be on their show, um, but you can reach out to them and that's all of that is free. Reaching out to them, doing a little bit of research into their audience, explaining to them why you should be on their show, why this book is a good fit for their audience. Finally, the final reason that you should absolutely write an ebook for your small business is it's an extra source of income, right? And who doesn't need an extra source of income always, right? Especially, like I said, you can do the PDF that you give away on your website for free in exchange for email addresses. But you can also, if you wanna write a longer, a full length book and sell it on Amazon, that's money in the bank, right? Every copy that you sell is is a sale that's money for you again it's not going to be as much money as a, as someone actually working with you or buying your product or services but it's still money that you did not have before and that's passive income which is the best right you put it up on amazon maybe you spend a few weeks promoting it go on those tv shows radio shows podcasts whatever and then just let it sit there and then it'll do the rest it, it, Amazon will do the rest, the algorithm will do the rest, Google, it just sits there, people will search for it, they'll buy it, the more people buy it and like it, the higher its rankings will get, and you just have to sit there and, and take in that income and then you can spend more time fo and energy focusing your efforts on actually helping your clients, which is what your business is all about, right? So that's it, those are our nine reasons why you should absolutely write an ebook for your small business. Again, I do know from experience how hard it is to write a book. So if you want someone to handle that for you, that is absolutely a service we offer. You can find us at avwritingservices.com. You can look over our blog posts, our um, services, all of our juicy content on our website. If you have any questions about writing an ebook or anything else, you can reach me directly at info at avwritingservices.com. That's it. Those are our tips. Have a great week and happy marketing.